Hi guys. So this is True Value Prophetess Catherine's. You guys, today I have um, received a prophetic words from the Lord and today I will be making a um, prophetic video to share with you guys. So um, you guys, uh, the Lord have okay been giving me a prophetic words and that is of powerful woman. Right? Today my audio, prophetic audio, will be um titled it, um Yes, Powerful Woman. What is Powerful Woman of the Bible? Okay. What does it mean? It sounds great. So a handful, right, of women in the history of Christianity surpass all societal expectation of biblical times. Only a handful. Despite male-oriented dominance of those times, these women in history had their own domain of power. So today we will be looking at, okay, these special women, this special few powerful women that is of that biblical time. So it is really remarkable. Okay, for them to overcome a society where their sexuality was not embraced, any female advancement suffered by a society whose rules rather favoured for male males and marginalised okay, female. Despite the male um, predominance role in society, um, we will be looking at this very special female. There is six female, okay, that um, these women, how do they rise to the power? How do they become known as powerful women? Even though it was not worthy enough to be uh, biblically recorded in history of Christianity, but we are now have shifted to the day where we now can embrace and really celebrate this female. So here we have our six powerful women of a female prophetess in history of Christianity. Okay, here Maryam, this is my very personal favorite, Maryam, she is special to me, is, okay, the first woman prophetess in Christianity history. Here in, uh, in books of Exodus, verse 15 to 20, then Miriam, the prophet, Aaron's sister, took a timbrel in her hand and all the women follow her with timbrel and dancing. Miriam's bravery have changed and shaped history of Christianity, you guys. She was, okay, used by the Lord as an instrument in saving her brother Moses' life, who was um, to become the most important Jewish prophet of that time. Moses has been given the Ten Commandments from the, the Lord, handwritten by God to Israelites. Miriam also helped her mother, Joshua, Hide Moses for three months. We see here in Hebrew eleven twenty nine. By faith, Moses' parent hid him for three months after he was born, because they saw he was an ordinary child, and they were not afraid of King Edict. Joshua placed Moses in a basket and concealed it among the weed by the side of the Nile's river. When they are no longer able to hit Moses from the king any longer, as the king ordered to kill all Jews' firstborn son, firstborn son, she undoubtedly was a. He'll be talking about Marianne. She undoubtedly was forced to be reckoned with. 
She went down in history as someone who led for the woman in Israel into acknowledging the unlimited power of the God of Israel, the Lord. And second biblical powerful woman was prophetess Deborah, the only female judge in history of Christianity. Deborah was okay an exceptional military leader fearless female, and utterly obedience to the Lord God. She led the Israelite to victory and out of bondage. Prophetess Deborah was the fourth judge of um, pre-monarchic Israel, the only one being referred to as both prophet and a judge in the Bible. The other one was Samuel. So there here you only see two, okay? Two of them were privileged to um, be a prophet and a judge. But however, Deborah's leadership lasted uh, quite a long time, 60 years I think it was. Her leadership was exceptional and appreciated both by men of all ranks and female as well. Prophetess Deborah was one woman in history acclaimed as a Christian military leader throughout Christianity. She is an example of bravery, strength, and the epitome of female power. A powerful woman, a powerful prophetess. And third here, we, um, we're probably very familiar with these uh, powerful female figure. Okay, or Queen Esther, the Israelite liberator, the Israelite liberator. Queen Esther was an example of beauty, humility, with a brain to match, and devoted courage. Esther is portrayed as the Jewish queen of the Persian king Caesar. She used her powerful position for good, okay, to save people to save her people. When her people were on the verge of being annihilated, okay, or extinct, prosecute, Easter, Queen Easter selflessly risked her life to save them. The king chief, chief minister, Haman, plotted the uh, massacre of the Jewish people because Mordecai refused to bow before him. He decided to destroy all the Jewish people. Mordecai refused to bow because, according to Jewish law, of course, Jews do not bow to anyone but God Yahweh. Hallelujah. And we have seen here in Exodus 20.